Okay, I'm back with part two. Um, I went to get, grab my stuff and I do also like a little snack. Um, okay, so what's Veronica talking about? Holiday movies. I don't have a favorite holiday movie. Sit there a while. What did she say? Hers was me. Speakerism. Okay. Um. So, as I was saying, I got these out of this this Christmas book, but I love them so much I don't want to use the originals just in case. Um. You know, I want to use them next time and I'll be better at it. So, so I'm gonna print these out in color. I do also like It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful um, Life. Oh, okay. I've never seen it, like not even one time. So I'm not a big movie buff unless it's like a romantic comedy slash funny slash horror. I usually <laughs> don't, you know, go to the movies. Sorry, but I mean, it's not, I I would, I think, what's the one with the one he wanted the BB gun and he shot his, and the parents kept saying no because he'd shoot his eye out, and then there was that leg light, like the sexy leg light, I forget what that one's called, I did watch that like almost every single Christmas, so, I'm not completely clueless, um, wouldn't have thought it was you know, so there's okay. so that's one in each of the three signatures possibly did I show the printables this is these are the printables I got off um, from Veronica which she sh when she shared the link so there's also printables I'm thinking of this one, maybe this will be this one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one, and then the rest are animals. So as far as the printables go so far, um, I originally wasn't going to put this because I was like it's too blue, but then when I decided that blue was going to be in my color scheme um i was like it's perfect so let me show you what i pulled from first though uh this is some snow bear thing but this is the cover thing the front and back and it came off in one one pool so i was like yay i can use that and then three pages from inside the book. Here's one. Not that one. I think this one. And then this one. Yeah. This one. So that's one kids kids book possibility. And then this book was really weird in that the pages were kind of um, glued on the edge, but they were real thick. So when you pull them apart, they were embossed. So like these animals are embossed. So I was like, oh cool, I'll cover that up with something. Or maybe I'll cover that up too, or I'll leave it. So that page, and then there was the back page also had like, again, it was embossed. I don't know if you can tell. And then there was another one by a different author, same type of deal, except with a black bear. And I was like, ooh. So there's my three pages for that. And it has the light blue. Um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I did the less um, cool pages because, again, I wanted to save the really cool pages for when I make a better junk journal. 
So here's one, but I wanted something with a pop of color. So each page has a pop of color. So it's this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so then also the adult coloring book, I figured I'm gonna grunge it up, but. Or maybe I'll leave it mostly white and this can be like a page where you can write stuff. Um, these two papers, printables, I, printal, printer paper, I got um, like a pack of 25 each style from CHKD. I think it was like 60 cents a pack. And then um, a holiday cookbook thing and I was thinking I like the red and green and blue so it's like dinner dessert dinner dessert and no. dinner dessert and more dessert i don't know <laughs> and then there's this like christmas card list book and then also present book and it's like a book but they're all like the same and i was like i can use the whole thing so i thought that was cool to add each of the three signatures and it stayed intact mm. so is that and then in the dictionary because <laughs> i was like where is it santa claus or something oh yeah santa claus over here but it's also right here and i was thinking i could do something yeah it makes a lot of noise um, that dictionary paper, and then this one is, sorry, it has all the Christmas, like Christ down here, but then also all the Christmas everything, and I can use that for something too. So, these two pages, hmm, I might have to cut the Christmas one in half, because I have three signatures. I didn't pull the third, a third thing. Oh well, whatever. Um, this is the book I told Christy I got at the library. It was like I, I think fifty cents. Um, and then extra off, less than fifty cents because they sell hardbacks for a dollar. And I was like, had I thought about it, because I got this one and the red one companion that went with it, I would have just used this. And then took out pages and used the altered books. But I was like, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Just because now I have my mindset on making my own cover. But this will be for maybe next year. Or maybe I'll make two if I have enough. But I would leave everything because I love this. And then just do the inside. However, I will be pulling pages from the inside. I was like, the only thing is, I was like, oh somebody's grandma <laughs> and grandpa gave it to them and they were like Boop. to Kristen Christmas 2004 grandma grandpa Claxton so 2004 that's 19 years ago so now I've had this pair of slippers. I mean, kind of old. I love how it's just perfectly browned. And I'm going to use plenty of pages out of here because, first of all, it's Christmas themed and it's just a gorgeous color. But I'm not going to pull them now because I don't know when or where I'm going to put them. So I'm just going to have it on the ready. And then, so these are the books I weren't wasn't sure about. I'm like, eh, not sure. But I, but I did say I was going to pull from this because of the blue. Um, so I'm going to pull, I like this page. And so, I'm not sure how much I try and pull, uh, tear as, have as much of the page as possible. There's one. Now I need two more. Could 
do is there are on. But let's see if all else is there in there. This one has an animal in it. Oh, she finished. Oh, this one has an animal too and has like blue. Maybe I'll do, okay, I'll pull that page. It's too good of a page. It has good pictures on both sides. She's tearing. She's tearing the clusters apart. Oh, I kind of like this. This is like. What is it? Christmas. Maybe I'll do that because it has the animals in it. It's looking crazy. Stay close to the spine. That's a good one. That's two pages and one more page. I kind of like that, but it's not Christmas, you know. Red and green. so good mm. well maybe we'll use this one I'm not so fond of that one again I'm gonna save the good ones for the next time okay don't judge me it's a little too purple but it is blue you know what I'll use this side because this one's more even though that's too dark. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, so we'll just leave that. Okay, three pages done out of that one. This one's good. Um, this one, look, I found this. It's kind of the same as the, um, I found the original Silent Night one I was gonna, um, that I made copies of yeah, in another book. But it's the same type of paper as that. I don't know. Crackly paper. But I was like, ooh. I'm not going to use the original, but I can make a copy. And then, when I get really good, I'll make use of it. However, there's some really good like pictures in here. Of, um, so I was thinking maybe I should make pictures of animals. I mean, picture copies of the pages. Like even this. But I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's I'm not sure. So I'm gonna hold off on this one. I might come back. And then there's Jingle Bear. It's very shiny towards the end there's not very many Christmassy like pictures other than the one with but it does have animals that's pretty um like I can cut that out so I'm gonna leave that out it's not gonna be I don't think a page but it could be part of the ephemera <laughs> there's only like three animals in it same thing again. Okay. Because I think it turned out so cool. Look, little golden book. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I could have made one of those kind of books Veronica made out of this. But I kind of want to use some of the pages too. And see, that's why I'm not sure if I'm going to use the pages in my actual junk journal. Because I might just have too many. And I don't want to rip it apart and then not use it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to hold him intact too. Okay. 
and this one, Home for the Holidays. Seems to maybe fit my theme. Um, Debbie Mum. I was wondering why I look familiar. Okay. That whole front page is pretty cool. So that might be one page. But so far, all these looks cool. Um, just trying to see if there's any. Maybe it'll show you a lot of space on the page. I won't have to come up with anything. Hmm. I kind of like that page. And I do like the front page. So maybe. Home for the Holidays is cool. That page. Oh, I like this page too. Just animals. Okay. Mm-hmm. I kind of like this page too. And this page. Okay, there's a lot of good pages in here. So... What shall we use? I, I guess it doesn't even matter because that might be too hoarder. Is there something about being a hoarder? I approve. Whatever it is. Hmm. Especially if it's gonna be like a little bit of this on every page anyway. Okay, so something big like that it's probably going to be the focal point or something like this I can have more room and that will need to be the focal point too so hmm. I really like this page. It takes up a lot of space. But again, maybe this page. Okay, technically, I can use either or, and then one more page. We can use that page too on both sides. Maybe I don't need to have it so it's not so big. See? Alright, three pages out of that. That book's done. Alright. And then I was thinking I could totally. Oh, so from the other kids' book with the colored um, songs, I printed in black and white on this vellum and each vellum has a different um, design I don't know if you can tell like this one kind of looks like snowflakes so I put all like the religious Christmas songs on like this type of paper and then I'm gonna print the colorful ones the secular Christmas songs on the secular ones so that'll be I think cool um, so this is the first Noel on this paper and this one, the Hark the Herald Angel scene, you can't really see it because on the color, it's like pink, which I didn't pay attention to, but it'll be fine. Um, and it kind of has stars. And then Silent Night, which is what I showed earlier. This, this is original and I printed it on vellum and it looks like what looks like snowflakes, I think. So those three are gonna be on the so six music pages. But then I was thinking, should I... This book is from 1952. And though I used to play piano a long time ago, 
I don't know anybody who plays the piano who would like appreciate this, but I, I'm having a hard time ripping up this particular thing. So I'm not gonna, but I will need to, by, by next Christmas I will. But it's pretty cool. I got it. It's 58 cents, but it was like 20% off that. So, plus it was such a good deal. So, it needs to be used and loved. So, this is the mentions of my book. I put it out on this, this paper. Um, I don't know how much time I have left. But let's look at... cover possibilities. So I don't know if you watch Louise Heinzel's um, version of making the um, cover, but she basically put a bunch of scraps together, stamped them, then put another, they're both like cloth covered, put another cover on top of it and then cut out circles so you could see what she collaged fabric underneath and made the, um, that's what I want to do kind of with this. Um, so I'm going to grunge this up with these two and this is what's going to be on top of these which is going to be collaged. So I have this like doily napkin thing I got from the thrift store which is going to be grunged and these <laughs> I'm glad I look for the tote or all Dollar Tree um, Christmas things with the exception of this while I was at Joann's because I can't help myself. It said $9.99 but then it was 50% off. So it was like $4.99 with an extra 20% off. So it was like, I don't know, how, it rang up like $2.89 for this almost yard. And I was like, it's, this is definitely, you can tell this is better quality than these because I feel like this weight with all these, well maybe, like this is similar in weight, so, um, I'm not sure I want to use all of these, like this might be for some, too dark because I'll have this one, and though they have this as the buffalo thing as Maybe I, I might use it, but I feel like this can be the black interspose between. And then this was, I had picked my colors, red and green, and then I was like, blue is going to be the like weirdo off color. And then I found this and I was like, it's perfect, except I don't want the gnomes on there. And this, I got this last year. So I'm going to somehow, you know, leave them out in the collage, but... Super perfect for what my thought process is. Also, <clears throat> this was the is this is the photo paper. So I'm not sure how to do it. I'm gonna have to rewatch. I'm not sure if Louise Heinzel or if it was the other one, 49 Dragonflies, where she sewed the plastic bag on top. I think it was the other one. But I feel like this is way more durable and light safe and waterproof so I might do a combination of both their styles sorry about the crinkly paper um yeah I do have some Christmas stamps that I got from Shein you know what I think that's I'm gonna cut I'm gonna go off camera and cut these get my bearings this however is gonna be my um my template for the size of my journal and then maybe I'll come back on and um craft some more okay and I'm gonna throw that that blue thing with the inks in the sink so I can at least have it soaking and getting ready to be grungy okay all right, talk to you guys later.